हेलो वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे द टॉपिक इज करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एंजाइम्स एज वी नो दैट एंजाइम्स आर प्रोटीनिक इन नेचर एंड दे आर मेड अप ऑफ लॉन्ग लीनियर चेन्स ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड्स दैट फोल्ड टू फॉर्म अ थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर्स लेट अस डिस्कस दैट व्हाट आर द करेक्टर्स दैट आर प्रोजेस बाय द एंजाइम्स protinic in nature almost all enzymes are proteins they are made up of amino acids they are biocatalysts how enzymes foster uh, the um, reactions enzyme enzymatic reactions are uh, millions of times faster than others specificity enzymes are very specific for the type of reaction and for the nature of their substrate on which it is going to act that is the substrate how the enzymes are specific as we know that lipases acts on lipids so these are the this is the specificity that lipases is going to act on the lipids amylase on amylose sucrase on sucrose sugar all right and uh, there is a small portion on the enzyme that is known as the active site that region is known as the active site it recognizes uh, by the substrate and the substrate bind to that active site and then the reaction is going further okay if we talk about for example uh, if we are taking in diet a high amount of lipids or carbohydrate like sucrose so uh, the enzyme production will be enhanced and if we are taking in low amount and that reaction is not not required inside our body so that reaction will going to be diminished by the cell according to the need so that is the regulation by the inhibitors and activators activators basically as the name is suggesting it is activating the reaction and inhibitors in, in inhibiting the that reaction so that is the um regulation of the enzymes activity that uh, at what amount they are required so uh, they are produced in that quantity now some enzymes need extra additional components to work so that uh, as we know that enzymes are uh, proteinic in nature and the others known protein molecules or ions that are known as the cofactors some enzymes need that cofactors to work there are uh, inorganic cofactors and organic cofactors as well for example inorganic metal ions and organic flavin and heme uh if the organic cofactor is tightly bound to the enzyme so they are known as the prosthetic groups and if it is loosely attached with the en- enzyme uh, it will call the as coenzymes so basically coenzymes as the name is suggesting they transport the chemical groups from one enzyme to another another some of the important coenzymes are riboflavin thiamine and folic acids and uh, as we know there are several cycles inside our body they are taking place like the uh, pathways are also uh, going on the metabolic pathways so uh, the one product that is produced by the one enzyme it is taken by the another reaction as a substrate then uh, the pathway is carried on because the several enzymes are working in a uh, order in uh, working they are working together in this specific order that one enzyme take the product of another as a substrate that's all about the characteristics of enzymes thank you so much and allah hafiz